What is going on you guys? My name is Logan. If you don't know me already, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another car detailing video. I'm on my way to pick up a customer's car right now. I won't be filming once I get there because it's a restaurant and that I feel weird filming inside of a restaurant. I think she owns it. Well, I don't think. I do, she does own it. But owns it or not, I feel weird just walking inside of a restaurant with a camera. So I will cut the camera, but I will see you guys when I get into the customer's car. Okay, I'm in the customer's car now. It's not that bad. Honestly, it is worse than what I was expecting because I just did, this is actually the customer's husband's car and I just did the customer's car a few days ago and it wasn't bad at all. So I was kind of surprised that this is kind of gross, but oh well, I will see you guys when I get home and we will start knocking this out. We're doing a full detail today. So on the road we go. So update, I just got to my house. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all the doors and get all the stuff out. There's just like knickknacks and things everywhere. And I need that out of my way before I can clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and take you guys along. But the car doesn't look too dirty. I'm glad she has seat covers or he has seat covers because that makes my job a whole lot easier. <laughs> Probably turn the truck off before I waste all their gas. Why do all rednecks always have black ice air freshener? Like every single redneck always has black ice. Like it doesn't even smell that good. I mean, it smells good, but they're a lot better air fresheners, in my opinion. Chapstick, weird camera thing, jumbo screws, weird mints. Another jumbo screw, another camera battery thing, another camera thing. Anytime I see a stack of business cards in a customer's car, I always look through them because odds are my business card's in there and that always makes me feel pretty cool. Like a customer will tell somebody about me and then give them a card and then they'll keep that card in their car and then whenever I detail it, I find it, I'm like, hey, what goes around comes around. Wow, that made me sound so stupid. <laughs> Which reminds me, if you guys want to get more clientele, leave business cards in every single car you detail every single time. Even if you do that car once a month, just leave one in there. Unless they already have some, in which case, take them and put them somewhere where they see them. That way they're constantly getting reminded, oh, Logan's business cards are here. If I know anyone, I have business cards. Also, why do so many people have like 100,000 pins up in their front? Like, I keep a pin in my glove box. And then I have like two pins that kind of just like float around my car. I don't know why I have two of them. But uh, some people have like stacks and stacks of pins. Like you only have two hands. You can physically only use two pins at one time. There's actually nothing on the side. Oh wait, yeah there is. Why do people have like such weird things? Just like floating around in their car. Like what does this fish do? Like what, what's its purpose? And I don't want to put this dragonfly, like this too, I don't know why, why this is there. Uh, I'm not going to put the dragonfly in the bag because I don't want it to bend or break, so I'm just going to put it in the center console. Okay. So now that everything is out of the truck, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum. I'm going to take the front floor mats out. And then the back ones, I'm probably just going to leave that because anyone who's ever detailed cars and has uh, WeatherTech floor mats, they're kind of a pain in the butt to get it out of the back. Sometimes it's easier just to uh, can I get this open? leave them where they are. I'm going to take the vacuum and kind of just vacuum under it where I can. But as far as deep under the floor mats, they were vacuumed before the carpet got put down or the floor mats got put down. So I'm not going to worry about taking the back ones out. Taking the front ones out will be more than enough. I feel super weird today because normally the shirts that we have say destination, have the little like destination detail right here and then they have the full logo 
in the back with the Instagram and Facebook. So it feels really weird to have a blank canvas. Whenever I was getting the shirts ordered, one of the um, shirts, this one, just came without a bag for some reason. I never even contacted the company because I just didn't feel like it, but uh, I always feel really weird whenever I'm wearing this shirt. But let's go ahead and get the vacuum out and start getting some of this dirt up off of the carpet. Most of the time, the easiest way I find to clean rubber floor mats like this is just to take a vacuum and a brush, either a goat brush or just like, this is an old tire brush, and just like wipe it and loosen up the dirt and then vacuum it all. And then I use uh, the Chemical Guys Nonsense, which is an all-purpose cleaner. I will spray it, wipe it all down, and then I'll finish it with a dressing. And I'll go ahead and vacuum this. And I won't dress it yet, but I'll get to that later. All this is really doing is just loosening the dirt, that way it just gets vacuumed up easier. Alright, so I hope you guys can hear me. I have a giant fan blasting into the car because it's so hot. I'm gonna put up on the screen whatever the temperature is. You guys comment down below what the temperature is where you guys are detailing because it's been like 93, 95 degrees for like a month now and it's only I think like 85 or something right now and it feels so much better in comparison. So like I can't imagine detailing and it only being like 70 degrees like all summer that would be so nice. I cannot wait to move to LA. <laughs> but now I'm wiping down the interior as you can see it's pretty gross but it's mostly just dust and then um after that I'll move to either the glass or door jams I gotta clean this floor mat back here too but before I do that let's go ahead and get this dash cleaned and man I hope you guys can hear me because like there's wind blowing all over my hand right now so it might be blowing out the speakers also I'm sure most of you guys have found out by now that I've been just recording on my iPhone 7 and this is what I've been using to uh, set up my phone whenever I'm detailing inside of cars I normally never spray chemicals directly on something. I almost always spray it on the rag and then wipe it down, but this is just absolutely disgusting, so today's the exception. So now I'm going to start cleaning the floor mats. I'm just going to spray it with the Chemical Guys Nonsense. I'm going to use this goat brush to kind of loosen up the dirt and then I'll wipe it clean with just a microfiber or a towel. So as you can see, that didn't completely fix the problem, but it did get all of the dirt out, or most of the dirt, and whenever I go back and dress these floor mats, they will look black, crisp, brand new again, and shiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other side, and then I guess we will move on to the glass. So I'm not sure how good you guys can hear me, but I went ahead and did the door jams off camera. Now the only thing I have left to do on the inside is the glass, um, dress the floor mats in the back, and then also, wait, can you guys see me? 
I don't have a viewfinder, so I don't know if you guys can see me or not. It is so much harder to clean glass without leaving streaks when it's direct sunlight. It's like nearly impossible. I wish I could remember who it was, but one of you guys commented on one of my videos saying that you use a pop-up canopy to detail under. That way you can detail in the shade. If you wouldn't mind, if you're watching this right now, DM me whatever you bought, a picture of it or a link to it or something, or comment it in the comments below. I looked on Amazon and I couldn't find anything that worked right. Whoever it was was saying that it was super portable and easy to use. And everything I found like was super heavy and um, almost took like two people to set up. So if you're watching this video, please DM me uh, whatever canopy you're talking about because I couldn't seem to find it. So now I'm basically just going to use this brush and loosen up all of the dirt using water and soap and then come back a third time with some dressing and just dress the mat and then it'll look like black and shiny just like the ones in the rear will look. So I'm going to go ahead and do this rim on camera and then do the rest off camera. I'm just going to uh, wash the tires, wash the rim, and get all inside of this wheel. I'm going to first use the same brush that I use on the carpet and just scrub the tire. Even if a tire isn't super dirty, you still want to scrub it because whenever you put tire shine on it, if there's any tire shine that was already on it, sometimes it can get splotchy and leave like uh, just gross spots all over it and you want it to be a clean surface before you put tire shine on it so that's why even if it's not super dirty I go ahead and just give it a quick scrub down with the I don't really know what this brush is called it's just a tire brush so now that the tire is scrubbed down I'm gonna take the goat brush and get inside of all the lug nuts and yes I read the comments I know it's crazy that I use a microfiber towel to clean the rims but honestly it's easier and it works better than using a brush in my opinion it takes less time I can just get my fingers in wherever it needs to go and <laughs> that's what she said and um, clean it faster Now that this one's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off, do the other three, and then I will get back to you guys whenever I start on the exterior of the truck. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wash the outside. There's really nothing to show because any of you who have ever washed a car know that, like, you just wash it. There's no technique to just washing the exterior of a car. So enjoy this time lapse of me washing, and then next we will get on to the floor mats and how I dress the floor mats on the inside. One more thing first. A lot of you guys were commenting how to avoid getting water spots. And the best way to do that is to take a hose and just continuously wet the surface the whole time so it never gets hot because the windshield or paint getting hot is what dries the water and causes the water spots. So the whole time I'm washing this, I'm gonna you'll see in the time lapse, I'm going to continuously just walk around the car and keep the paint cool and keep the glass cool. And if there's two people watching, what we'll normally do, like I'll just wash the whole car and JT will be behind me just spraying it off the entire time and then we'll dry it as fast as possible and then we don't get any water spots. So uh, roll the time lapse. So now it's time to get the whole vehicle dry. I went ahead and dried all of the windows because the sun is just blazing and I needed to get those dry first. But I'm gonna go ahead and dry the whole rest of the car.
So I had to stop recording because my phone was about to die, but I went ahead and dressed the front floor mats and the tires. Now that my phone is a little bit charged, I'm going to show you guys how I dress the uh, floor mats, but I'm going to do the back ones. So I'm pretty sure you can't see my face right now, but you know I've already vacuumed them and wiped them down with the uh, Chemical Guys nonsense. Now I'm going to take, what is this, is it VPR? RVP? I don't remember what this stuff is actually called, but I'm going to link it below. Actually, you know what, I'll just put it right here on the screen. So whatever you see on the screen, that's what this stuff is called, and I'm going to use it to dress these floor mats. And all this does is just bring the shiny black look back, and it'll protect it from sun damage and just getting faded over time. And if you keep doing this once a week or once every two weeks or however often you wash or, de or detail your car, it will make your floor mats just stay more black. So even when they're dirty, they won't get faded. Like you can put mud on your feet and rub dirt onto these mats, but this will still be soaked into the uh, plastic or rubber, whatever this is. It'll just protect it long term. See the difference? How black that is versus how faded this looks? It just makes it look so rich and black again. So update, right after that clip you saw of the time lapse of me waxing the car, or actually during that, my phone actually fell off the tripod and the screen broke. I thought that the camera broke, broke also, so I didn't film the rest of the video. My camera didn't break, but I can barely use my screen like it, like the whole screen shattered, so I can't like, um, it's cutting my finger whenever I use it. So I gotta go to Verizon and get a new phone, but thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna cut this video short because I, <laughs> I already messed it up. I hope you enjoyed what I did film. I was almost done anyways, but um, I'm losing my train of thought. Subscribe for more content, like this video in support of me breaking my phone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, subscribe, like this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.